Spinal stenosis is a condition where the nerve pathways are narrowed. As the nerves travel through the lumbar spinal canal in the low back, they're pinched. In this case, the nerve is leaving what we call the foramen, and as the spine extends in the standing or walking position, the nerve is compressed. As a patient sits or bends forward, the nerve pressure is released. Typically, the nerves are pinched by bulging discs, overgrown arthritic joints, or a thickened ligament. These three elements contribute to compression of the nerves, and patients may present with low back pain, buttock pain, and leg pain commonly. Most patients who have spinal stenosis will have transient symptoms. They may present with back pain or buttock or leg pain, but it will get better non-operatively. Rest anti-inflammatories are the modality of choice in most cases. For patients who don't get better after a few weeks of conservative treatment, uh, additional treatments such as physical therapy may help. Interventional pain management has been shown to be somewhat effective in the short term. Uh, patients who have long-standing disease are probably better treated with surgery. The surgical treatment for spinal stenosis involves a lumbar decompression. One type of common procedure would be a laminectomy where we remove some of the thickened ligament and the overgrown compressive tissue that's narrowing the nerve channels. This opens up the space for the nerves, improves blood flow to the nerves, and improves patient symptoms. So patients with long-standing symptoms that are moderate to severe benefit from surgery. However, most patients will need non-operative care. One thing to keep in mind is that patients who have spinal stenosis are often more symptomatic with standing and walking, and their symptoms are relieved with sitting or bending forward. We actually have a term called the shopping cart sign where patients bend forward and lean on a shopping cart. So if you have that type of complaint, then you should see your doctor. It may be spinal stenosis.